Good morning, everyone. Today, I have one more book about a garden that I want to read to you. We already read the story called The Curious Garden, and today's book is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. So before we start, what is some, are some things that you might find growing up in the garden? And what are some things that you might find down in the dirt? Up in the garden and down in the dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my heart full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and I warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. So what are some of the bugs that live down in the dirt that you see? Lots of different insects down here. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So compost is a special food for plants that help them grow. And it looks like soil, it's brown. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in the plated suits of armor, roly poly round. There's some roly poly bugs down there. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. So let's look at this picture. What do you see up in the garden? That's above the soil. And what do you see down in the dirt? That's below the soil. I weed and wilt in the sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in and long-legged spider walks over the streams. So can you see the roots are drinking up the water? They're soaking it up through their roots and bringing it up to the plant. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. And those are those tiny bugs right there. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble worms while I sleep. Up 
Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But let's see what happens. <gasps> Snap. What animal is that? Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crutches on Thumper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Look at those beautiful sunflowers growing. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, stranded by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough food for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blanket. And down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, and earthwards call in the dark. All the insects are preparing for winter. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter, but the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding their time. The end. So we saw a lot of different plants and animals and insects in this book, right? So what were some of the plants that you saw growing up in the garden? Can you name some of them from the story? And what were some of the insects that we saw down in the dirt? Can you name some of the insects that you saw in the story? Thanks for reading with me. Bye.